Okay, people, here we go. I started some seeds. Yes, we did. Hello. Did we? Woo! My son Jaden. Yeah! Let's get these plants growing good. All right, so here it is. Back at it again. Wowzers. So, right here, I have some red reapers, Aye. white ghost, Aye. yellow lemon drop, Aye. and seven pot bubblegum red. Aye. These are gonna be for sale. So I was thinking, you know, my own price range and all that. Everyone has their own prices and differs, but in total, there should be three hundred and ninety dollars right there. That's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. All right. Well, of course, if all these seeds germinate, I have two seeds in each little pot. So, if y'all germinate and I sell all of them with my price range, it comes out to three hundred and ninety dollars. Worse comes to worse, I get like two something maybe. But fingers crossed. So for a sea starting mix, I love to use Jiffy sea starting mix. Awesome stuff. I always have great results. So upon germination, I'ma wait till they each get at least like I don't know, three sets of two of leaves before I transplant into another little pot like this. These are little pots that I have right here. So more than enough. And the soil I'll be using to transplant will be Happy Frog. So y'all know that soil, pretty sure. Y'all know are familiar with the happy frog. And as far as nutrients, very light, light, light nutrients for root development and growth. Seed wheat extract. Trustworthy, I have really, really great results. Y'all can see the videos. And backing that up with Osmocote. A few pellets, once they germinate, once they have these set of leaves, pour some around the soil area. And these should be good to go. Yeah. I recommend having one of these right here, a little sprayer, pump. Very easy, very easy. And if the topsoil is dry, a little bit dry, just go ahead and spray it. Look at that. Easy as one, two, three. Chris Garcia and... Jaden Garcia. Jaden Garcia. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here, light fixture I am using. Right there. Bam, y'all can read. It's very warm in here. Wait, really? No. Let me see. So here I have the Vipar Spectra Wait, it's and warm. Vipar Spectra 3x3 three three grow tent. So the light is about, I say like maybe two feet from the seed starting or sold in seeds. Again, mind you. Upon transplant, this is very important. If you guys want to, you guys could use mycorrhiza. Very, very good for that root development and the fast acting growth on those. Like I said, it's your choice. But again, I'll be using down to earth, dry amendments. Very, very good. Good results, you guys. Again, check my videos. Bam. Videos speak for themselves. But here I am going to be growing all these seedlings. 
and the 3x3 by Par Spectra. Alrighty. Y'all know the light fixture. You guys can see my past videos. I've been using this one for about two seasons already. I'm gonna be looking forward to switching over to the Bipar Spectra new line. And hopefully everything goes good. All right, guys. Y'all have a blessed day and look forward to the future videos to see how many of these sprout. Oh, and also I have my heat mat. The Vivo Sun heat mat right here is backwards. My bad, but oh, it's warm already. So that is going right here. Bam, just like so. I don't have a timer, so it's just an off on switch. And yeah, all right guys, well, look forward to the future videos. All right, y'all have a great night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.